Hey up my ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. How is everybody doing? Um, I, as you know, if you've seen my vlogs and things, I've had a couple of weeks off work and um, I've just got back and there's been a delivery, um, which I've been excited about. Um, really excited about receiving this. So, a little bit of backstory. I just need a drink as well. It's a really, really warm day um, in the UK at the moment. So I've got some some cordial, strawberry cordial, nice and cold. Um, oh, that feels better. Yeah, so um, a few weeks ago, I was contacted by um, Sarah. Now, Sarah's been a subscriber to my channel for a few years now. Um, you might know her as Water Child Tarot. And she messaged me to say that um, she really appreciated the channel and the walkthroughs and all that kind of stuff. And that she found it to be really beneficial. And she wanted to send me a gift, which was really, uh, really sweet. And she said that um, she had seen this deck, um, which you will have seen from the title of this video. It's called the Diverse uh, Tarot de Marseille. And she wanted to uh, send it to me because she said that um, she loved it that much. She wanted it to have uh, more exposure. Um, she also sent me a link to Elisa's channel. Now, I've just noticed it says here, Moonchild Tarot. However, um, I'm not quite sure what the origin of that is, but um, this is created by Elisa. And maybe that's her company name um, because she's got a YouTube channel herself. And um, yeah, oh, I'm trying to think what the channel is called, actually. Um, I think it's something like Magical, Lisa's Magical. Uh, I will I will link the channel below in the description. There'll be, you know, in the description, a link to... MPC, which is where this has come from, as you probably would have seen from the envelope at the beginning. And also a link to Elisa's channel and you can watch her walkthrough and everything. I haven't watched uh, all the walkthrough because I want the element of surprise. I also saw that my friend Kelly Bear had put a video up a couple of days ago and I put it on my watch later list because again, I knew that this, this deck was coming. Um, any time and you know therefore I wanted um, the surprise of having a look at this deck for the first time and sharing my uh, reactions with you. So the reason why this tarot deck is called the Diverse Tarot de Marseille is because it kind of uh, moves away from the more traditional what we would call traditional uh, Marseille decks um, the use of colour in particular um, has significance. And I won't go from, through them all. Again, you can, um, her cardstock is wonderful from um, MPC. I love MPC cardstock. This feels like superior smooth. It could be their standard smooth, but either way, it's so springy, really good quality, very durable. And it has a lovely, uh, soft, um, it's beautiful. I really am impressed with MPC and their cardstock. Yeah, so it moves away from colours and the colours that are used in the deck are uh, to represent uh, the elements. So for instance, um, yellow in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the deck represents air. Um, so yeah, that's how that, uh, that's represented. Um, but also, as well as representing the elements, it's linked to the chakra system. So you will, you will see why. So purple being, you know, the violet chakra, the crown chakra um, and things like that um, to represent the higher realms. You know, if we're talking about the crown, uh, the crown chakra, the highest chakra. 
Um, you'll see a QR code here. I believe the QR code takes you to, in fact, let's, let's have a look. It should take you to uh, the website. So we will just um, use the camera feature here. If I can, there we go. So, oh, I've turned it onto video. Why have I done that? Don't want to do that. So yeah, we'll press the button and it takes us to uh okay let me where are we yes yeah, so here we go a little bit about tarot i think she's actually created quite a few decks about readings more information so it's her it's her website so we've got home um about there's the little logo that's on the uh the qr code there um my name is elisa i consider myself to be a person of many interests etc to book a reading we've got the shop here um which takes us to all the decks available on npc look at all these oracle and tarot decks and um, we've also got merchandise with the logo um which is cool so yeah so when you get the deck it will have this um and the, the website is obviously moonchild tarot and elise elisa is behind that the uh youtube channel that i mentioned is elisa's magical space okay elisa's magical space it's just come to me i have those uh, blocks sometimes and all of a sudden i'll be talking about something completely different and uh, that that I was trying to remember suddenly pops back into, into my head. Okay, so let's see where we are. So I'm gonna bring the camera down a little bit so we can have a look at these cards. These are the backs, which are really nice, very typical kind of tight pattern that you get with Marseille decks. There was a card at the back as well. So it's got like a, a front and a back card um, to, to sandwich the deck. Um, beautiful cardstock, as I mentioned, really nice MPC cardstock. Standard tarot size, um, as you'll see here, standard tarot size. Uh, and by standard tarot size, I mean, you know, kind of like MPC do use standard tarot size, but what US games would, would also use. All right, so I'm gonna bring the camera down and we'll take a look at the deck. Okay, what I also forgot to mention when I was talking about the, the fact that it's called the Diverse Tarot de Marseille, is not um, only the fact that, you know, it moves away from the colors um, to represent elemental uh, associations and also the chakra system, but it's diverse in as much that it's more representative in terms of using uh, different skin tones. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else in the deck in terms of whether there's a, a broader range of other um, diverse uh, characteristics such as age or body size or, you know, um, sexual orientation and stuff like that, disability. But uh, it, or it does include people with a different uh, various skin tones, which uh, is representative, more representative globally anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, first thing I'm struck about here is the purple, this, the different shades of purple here is beautiful. And I really like as well that we get this purple, um, little drawstring bag to go with it. So I'm hoping that purple is quite a theme, uh, through this deck, but as you can see, um, it's a redrawing of a classic Marseille, um, but with these beautiful, beautiful colours added as well. Love the magician. I love this mustard uh, yellow in the background. It's really, you know, the image of the magician and the table, everything really pops against that mustard background. It's gorgeous. We have our high priestess here. And again, notice the higher areas are purple representing the higher realms beautiful choice of blues i mean look at those colors just really really gorgeous 
blurriest communication. Gorgeous Empress in pink here, which represents the heart, doesn't it? The heart chakra. Sometimes green as well, green or pink, really. Um, our Emperor here. Um, oh, again, I'm not sure if that's showing, but purple here. Interesting, we've got yellow at the top. So yellow, you know, representing the element of air, but also as a ruler, the heart is is taking quite a centre stage as well. We've got this grounding in a spiritual kind of connection as well. Gorgeous for the Hierophant. The Hierophant, we've got this beautiful blue for communication, which you'd want from, from the Hierophant. And I love the purple robes. Connection again to the higher realms. Interesting little cross on the hand there and here. Really clear, clean images as well. The Lover, which is more traditional than later decks with lovers. Notice how the titles are in English as well. To say it's a Marseille deck, I thought they might have been in French, but you know, I've seen a few Marseille decks recently that have English titles. The Chariot. These images are stunning. The colours that have been chosen, you know, carefully thought about and chosen, um, just go so well together as well. I know they're representative, but just the combinations of the colours is absolutely stunning. The Hierophant, uh, the Hierophant, the Hermit. The Wheel. Oh, this is a gorgeous deck. Obviously, with it being Marseille tradition, strength is 11 rather than eight. We had Justice at eight. Isn't it beautiful? The Hanged Man. Wow. When you think of the use of Chakra here, <laughs> how it's really flipped. We've got our root and then the, uh, the violet crown Chakra here. The yellow for the heart. Our Death card. Very traditional, I love it against the red background. Temperance. A devil. Oh, I love this. It is done so well. Beautiful star. Look at her pink hair. Gorgeous, this really dark midnight blue sky as well. Yet the vibrant water, the different shades of blue is, is gorgeous. The moon. And the sun. Stunning. Judgment. And then finally for our majors, we've got the world. And look at this, look at her hair. Wow. Beautiful, really beautiful. Got enough light. So. Okay. Then we move on to the minors. Now, this kind of reminds me, it's got the same color all the way through. Yeah, so it's very uniform. This reminds me uh, similar to what uh, Fournier did. I don't know if I've got that deck 
Oops, it's a hand, have I? I've got an old Fournier somewhere around here. Ah. Here we go, this is my old Fournier deck. As you can see here. And they did something very similar um, in terms of the colour backgrounds for, this is like a, a salmon pink for the cups. We've got this beautiful blue uh, for our swords, green for the batons, and uh, yellow for pentacles, the coins. I'm not quite sure what colours we're using here. So we've got the salmon pink for the batons. We've got blue, oh, with beautiful pink for our cups. Yellow for the swords, representing air, of course. So these have got the elemental associations. Uh, green for earth, oops. And this is kind of like a pink for, you know, the, the red, the passion type. Uh, element there of the, the fire. Okay, so um, I'm not going to do uh, any talking as oh, just dropped a deck on the floor, bear with. Um, we'll just have some nice music as we take a look, close up look at the miners.
Okay, so there we have it. What a gorgeous deck. Um, absolutely love it. If you love Marseille, um, you know, and you want kind of a fresh, modern interpretation with these beautiful, gorgeous colours, um, there's something about having the pips uh, set against a really nice coloured background that really adds to the uh, the overall aesthetic for me. I really, really like it rather than just on a white background. So I think I love the my Fournier so much. Um, but yeah, thank you, Sarah, for sending me this deck. It was really generous and kind of you. I really appreciate it. Do check out the links below, guys, if you're interested in supporting uh, Elisa, the creator. Um, there will be a link to her MPC shop where you can buy this deck. Um, and also, you know, um, the link to her YouTube channel as well, where you can listen to the creator herself talk about this deck and the reasons why she chose the colours that she did. So... Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic week. Um, I'm not quite sure when I'll be back, but if not uh, this week, then I'll be here on Saturday for a cup of catch-up and card. So have a fantastic week, and I'll speak to you soon. Look after yourselves. Namaste, and blessed be.